सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स शिक्षा शब्द कोष ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फर्स्ट एडिशन लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर फाइव डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी चैप्टर फाइव डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी पेज नंबर सेवेंटी सिक्स वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी थ्री ब्लेंडेड लर्निंग Blended learning is an approach to education that combines online educational materials and opportunities for interaction online with traditional place-based classroom methods. It combines in-person teaching with online learning methods so learners can listen to a lecture in a classroom and then take an online quiz right there or at home. Blended learning encompasses all education that integrates digital technologies especially web based learning tools Blended learning instructor led learning in classroom or virtually digital learning self guided or assigned 154 Central Institute of Educational Technology CIET CIET is an autonomous organization formed as a nodal agency under the National Council of Educational Research and Training NCERT to promote the use of mass media technology for expanding and improving the quality of education at the school level 155 digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing or diksha diksha digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing is the national infrastructure platform for school education in india used widely across the country by crores of users in 33 languages Diksha has been identified as a digital public good or DPG by government of India and architected as a set of building blocks in compliance with principles laid out in NDEAR Diksha platform offers engaging learning material relevant to the prescribed school curriculum to teachers students and parents available at https colon slash slash diksha dot gov dot in 156 e part shala e part shala has been developed by ncert for showcasing and disseminating all educational e resources including textbooks audio video periodicals and a variety of other print and non print materials through website and mobile app the platform addresses the dual challenge of reaching out to a diverse clientele and bridging the digital divide geographical socio cultural and linguistic offering comparable quality of e contents and ensuring its free access at every time and every place all the concerned stakeholders such as students teachers educators and parents can access e books through multiple technology platforms that is mobile phones android ios and windows platforms tablets as epub and on the web through laptops and desktops as flipbooks page number 77 157 hybrid learning hybrid learning can be defined as teachers taking both online and offline classes simultaneously for the students 
it is an educational model where some students attend class in person while others join the class virtually from home educators teach remote and in person students at the same time using tools like video conferencing hardware and software it combines traditional classroom experiences experiential learning objectives and digital course delivery hybrid learning both online and in person class tracks progress suits different learning style edtech optimization teacher empowerment improve engagement personalized learning experience gamified learning 158 interactive voice response system or ivrs ivrs is an automated telephony system that interacts with callers gathers information and routes calls to the appropriate recipients ivr systems can consist of telephony equipment software applications a database and a supporting infrastructure 159 information and communication technologies ict information and communication technologies ICT is defined as a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to transmit store create share or exchange information these technological tools and resources include computers the internet websites blogs and emails live broadcasting technologies radio television and webcasting recorded broadcasting technologies like podcasting audio and video players and storage devices and telephony fixed or mobile satellite vision or video conferencing etc 160 learning management system or lms a learning management system is a platform that enables instructors to organize and distribute course materials in a digital format while features may vary a typical lms allows instructors to communicate with students share readings create and collect assignments assess student work and post grades an lms may be used to complement a face to face course or for an entirely online course a learning management system provides an instructor with a way to create and deliver content monitor student participation and assess student performance the platform also provides students with the ability to use interactive features such as threaded discussions video conferencing and discussion forums 161 ndeaar or national digital education architecture ndeaar is being envisioned to be a digital infrastructure for education ndeaar will be beneficial for both center and states in planning administering and governing school education as well as to teachers students and schools for having a seamless digital learning experience it's a technology framework that attempts to enable existing systems to be upgraded and made compatible while also providing the building blocks for new tools and solutions to be developed 
solutions and ideas that have worked in one state or union territory can be reused and reconfigured in another, eliminating the need to start from scratch and solve for India's scale, diversity, complexity, device penetration, upskilling of teachers, multimodal learning access, etc. Page number 78 It also ensures data empowerment and protection of individuals' privacy and confidentiality. Privacy by design with minimal personally identifiable information or PII and consent architecture to be strictly adhered to India's data protection bill and laws. Available at https colon slash slash www dot ndeaar dot gov dot in slash index dot html 162 National Educational Technology Forum NETF the policy envisages the establishment of the National Educational Technology Forum or NETF as an autonomous body will be created to provide a platform for the free exchange of ideas on the use of technology to enhance learning, assessment, planning, administration and so on, both for school and higher education. The aim of the NETF will be to facilitate decision-making on the induction, deployment and use of technology by providing to the leadership of education institutions, state and central governments and other stakeholders, the latest knowledge and research as well as the opportunity to consult and share best practices. 100 63. NROER, the National Repository of Open Educational Resources, NROER, by the Ministry of Education, offers resources for all school subjects and grades in multiple languages. Access to content is available in the form of educational videos, audio, images, documents, and Interactive Modules 164 NDEAR Building Blocks Principles For example, Technology, Building Blocks and Ecosystem Standards and Specifications For example, Technology and Data Guidelines For example, Data Processing Ecosystem Engagement Policies For example, Data Protection Openness Inclusion Accessibility Thus, the embodiment of NDEAR vision and principles is envisaged to result in the creation of 36 key building blocks by the Centre, State, Union Territory, Board, and local, school or student levels. These building blocks shall be loosely coupled on a need-to-connect basis using standardized APIs and open specifications. 165. NDEAR Sandbox NDEAR Ecosystem Sandbox is like a digital version of a tinkering lab which is used by technologists for fostering innovation in education. This will provide a digital environment to innovate possibilities across diverse scenarios to enable digital in education. It is being opened up for the first set of ecosystem partners for experimentation and testing. 100 66. O Labs. O Labs is based on the idea that lab experiments can be taught using the internet more efficiently and less expensively. 
These labs can also be made available to students with no access to physical labs or where equipment is not available owing to being scarce or costly. This helps them compete with students in better equipped schools and bridges the digital divide and geographical distances. The experiments can be accessed anytime and anywhere. Overcoming the constraints on time felt when having access to the physical lab for only a short period of time. O labs are hosted at www olabs.edu.in Page number 79 The features include Content aligned to NCERT or CBSC and State Board Syllabus Physics, Chemistry, Biology Labs from Class 9 to Class 12 English and Maths Lessons for Class 9 and 10 Interactive simulations, animations and lab videos. Concepts and understanding of the experiment. Ability to perform, record and learn experiments. Anywhere, anytime and individualized practice in all areas of experimentation. 167 PM E Vidya for ensuring equitable education. As part of the Atmanirbhar Bharat program, a comprehensive initiative for using technology with equity called PM E Vidya has been initiated, which unifies all efforts related to digital or online or on air education to enable multi-mode access to education. It sought to leverage technology to promote digital education in the country and to make e-learning feasible for students and teachers. It aims to provide multi-model access to learning resources by unifying all efforts related to digital or online or on-air education. It consists of the following four kinds of digital education resources. One, one nation, one digital education platform, Diksha for school education in states or UTs. Diksha is the national platform for school education available for all states and the central government for grades 1 to 12. It can be accessed through a web portal and mobile application. It provides access to a large number of curriculums linked to e-content through several use cases and solutions such as QR code, energized textbooks or ETBs, courses for teachers, quizzes, and others. It is the one nation, one digital platform for school education. 2. Swayam Prabha One class, one channel, one earmarked TV channel per class from 1 to 12. Swayam Prabha DTH channels are meant to support and reach those who do not have access to the internet. 32 channels are devoted to telecast high-quality educational programs. Swayam MOOCs Online MOOC courses relating to NIOS grades 9 to 12 of open schooling are uploaded on Swayam portal. Around 92 courses have started and 1.5 crore students are enrolled. Students and teachers can access all the course modules, text, videos and assessment questions etc. through Swayam. Page number 80
3. Extensive use of radio, community radio and podcasts. Radio broadcasting is being used for children in remote areas who are not online. 289 community radio stations have also been used to broadcast content for NIOS for grades 9 to 12. A podcast called Shikshavani is being effectively used by learners of grades 9 to 12. It contains over 430 pieces of audio content for all subjects of grades 1 to 12. Special e-content for visually and hearing impaired. One DTH channel is being operated specifically for hearing impaired students in sign language. For visually and hearing impaired students, study material has been developed in Digitally Accessible Information System or DASY and in sign language. Both are available on NIOS website or YouTube. Available at https colon slash slash pmevidya.education dot gov dot in one hundred sixty eight Pragyata Guidelines have been developed on digital education for school heads, teachers, parents and students containing recommendations. Focus on the methodology, time spent etc. for online or blended or digital education for students who are presently at home due to the closure of schools. It also provides sufficient do's and don'ts regarding ergonomics and cyber safety. There are infographics on how to use devices and have proper posture during the online classes. Available at https colon slash slash www.education.gov.in slash sites slash upload hyphen files slash mhrd slash files slash pragyata hyphen guidelines underscore zero dot pdf 169 shagun digital repository Shagun Digital Repository has been designed to change the narrative on school education by showcasing the multitude of innovative and successful models being implemented by all states and union territories in diverse circumstances. This repository of good practices focuses on positive stories and developments that are driving performance improvements in school education. Available at https colon slash slash repository dot education dot gov dot in 170 Shiksha Vani Podcast called Shiksha Vani of CBSE disseminates audio content for various subjects of grades 9 to 12 in a timely, educative, lucid and seamless manner. CBSE Shikshavani is available on Play Store and Android phone users. So far, Shikshavani contains approximately 400 pieces of content in the form of audio files on topics in accordance with NCERT Curriculum Page number 81 171 Swayam Swayam is a program initiated by the Government of India and designed to achieve the three cardinal principles of education policy viz. access, 
equity and quality. The objective of this effort is to take the best teaching learning resources to all, including the most disadvantaged. Swayam seeks to bridge the digital divide for students who have hitherto remained untouched by the digital revolution and have not been able to join the mainstream of the knowledge economy. This is done through a platform that facilitates hosting of all the courses taught in classrooms from class 9 till post-graduation to be accessed by anyone, anywhere, at any time. All the courses are interactive, prepared by the best teachers in the country and are available free of cost to any learner. Courses hosted on Swayam are in four quadrants. 1. Video lecture 2. Specially prepared reading material that can be downloaded or printed 3. Self-assessment tests through tests and quizzes and 4. An online discussion forum for clearing the doubts Link of website HTTPS colon slash slash pmevidya dot education dot gov dot in slash swayam hyphen portal dot html 172 swayam prabha one class one tv channel in the ministry of education a total of 34 channels are devoted to telecast high quality educational programs of these 12 tv channels are earmarked for the one class one tv channel under the atmanirbhar bharat program for the department of school education and literacy these 12 pme with their dth tv channels started functioning for school education with effect of first of September 2020. All the videos based on chapters have been QR coded and can be found on Deeksha portal with a feature of coherence. Since launch, telecasts of chapter wise programs have been done on each channel. Link of website https colon slash slash pmevidya dot education dot gov dot in slash swayam hyphen prabha hyphen tv dot html registry n d e a r while all state and central governments have the need to maintain master data within the education domain few have managed to successfully collect and keep it up to date. Almost no system today has exposed reusable registries for others to build on. It is essential that data about schools, teachers, students, administrative officials, subjects, textbooks, etc. are maintained through a set of federated fourth generation registries not kept central but kept within various state or center or department systems which are the primary keeper of that data. The registries must be designed to be easily accessible by other building blocks and usable through registry as a service with open APIs beyond the traditional portals for end users to view and access. School, teacher and student are core registries envisaged in NDIA across federated levels and not as a central database. 173. School Registry Currently, each school is uniquely identified by a unified district information on school education or 
UDISE code. In addition to these, these are multiple schools or institutions which are not onboarded on UDISE plus or maybe using their own codes or institutes. There is a need for a master registry to facilitate institution controlled crude, which means create, read, update and delete operations while keeping attestations or approvals to appropriate authorities and act as a single source of truth for all other building blocks and systems. UDISE code has been recognized for the purpose of uniquely identifying schools, preschools, vocational training institutes and other institutions pertaining to school education. Page number 82 UDISE Plus shall be augmented with the features required to perform school registry with open APIs. School Directory Management acts as a centralized school registry which facilitates the management of all the schools. 15 plus lakhs on a real-time basis in federated architecture. It caters to all types of schools, including private schools. 174. Student Registry By registry is meant a technology-based solution for an information system with multiple data points related to several areas in one place to enable easy access to authorized stakeholders to keep track of progress and performance. A student registry would not only give a unique ID to the student that they can carry through their continuum of studies at all levels, but will also include a record of basic information, that is, date of birth, category, parent's name, address, etc. Benefits like uniform, textbooks, scholarships, transport allowance, CWSN stipend, etc. A record of attendance or tests or grades, the record of sports or arts or Olympiads and other activities that a student has participated in, the record of migrations, etc. The potential of student registry includes holistic progress card, tracking of the child, predicting dropout, catching them before damage is done, assessment for skilling, counselling both career and mental health, re-entry into formal schooling after a break, transition to higher education, multiple entry-exit scheme tracking, employment status after skilling or education, and data and evidence-based systemic interventions, blocks or district or state-wise etc. 175. Teacher Registry Teachers have multiple entry and exit points in the education system and shall require the teacher registry to be maintained at the central level or at the state level with national access, with necessary access control and consent flows. Student and teacher directory may leverage Aadhaar, PAN or other existing identifiers for unique identification as necessary. Teacher registry will uniquely register and manage teacher's key attributes which will be fetched and leveraged by various other applications. Teacher registry attributes and process 
has been drafted and shall be taken up to the technical working group for finalization. 176. Vidya Samiksha Kendra or VSK The NDEAR compliant Vidya Samiksha Kendra or VSK is an institutional setup that will provide visibility of progress across programs or schemes. Vidya Samiksha Kendra or VSK aims at leveraging data and technology to bring a big leap in learning outcomes. This will cover data of more than 15 lakh schools, 96 lakh teachers and 26 crore students and analyze them meaningfully using big data analysis, artificial intelligence and machine learning to enhance the overall monitoring of the education system and thereby improve learning outcomes. It helps to keep track of enrolled students, learning at home, dropouts, student learning, registries, out-of-school children, textbook delivery, support required by teachers and schools, etc. And also to monitor and track field-level academic and non-academic activities at the state level and also empower administrators and teachers in the field to make data-driven decisions and monitor the real-time status towards various projects, components or activities, grievance redressal mechanism under the ambit of school education. It brings synergy to the work being done in the ecosystem by integrating data from different data sets and empowers students, teachers and parents to bridge the gap. 177. Virtual Lab Leveraging the learning building blocks of NDEAR, virtual labs will provide a set of tools and content that provides a visual, interactive and immersive experience for students and teachers to understand and appreciate important concepts. Virtual labs bring these experiences especially to students who may be deprived of functional lab experience to conduct hands-on experiments. Virtual Labs content is published by NCERT for science and mathematics subjects across grades 9 to 12 on Diksha. You were just listening to this audio. Chapter 5 Digital Technology Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Technical Coordinator Bati Langlingdo Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan Narrator Bavla Kochar, Guidance, Vandana Arimardan, Ajit Horo, Production Assistant, Ruchi Sharma, Director and Producer, Vimlesh Chaudhary. This program is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.